Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome back once again to the Eastern Wing of the Stinkbug Works, that super secret research and development division of Dr. Jet Laboratories. Today, I'm going to bombard you with more unedited, unscripted stream of consciousness discussion about the jet stepper. And a couple of things that occurred to me as I was uh, getting prototype number five, number five, ready for uh, its first sea trials. If you remember back a while, I ran a video of both these guys running. And this guy seemed to run okay, and we'll talk about him in a minute. Although this one seemed to drag its butt, and it hopped a bit, but actually it was hopping up here on the step as it was dragging its butt, and it was doing this kind of number as it went along. Well, back when this thing had lots of power, I had to put the battery all the way at the back to get it to balance back here a bit. And what happens is the spinning prop actually holds some of the weight. And how much weight it can hold is a function of the power of the motor. And I'm thinking that when I had that little 14 series motor in here, it didn't have the power to get the back end out of the water and the CG needed to move forward to compensate for that low power. And this dawned on me when I was getting this ready and I'll show you what I'm thinking. Now remember, this one, it ran okay. It wasn't fast, but it ran okay. It had the power to keep it up, plus the whole thing was lighter. And you can see I was still putting the battery at the back end of the boat. Well, prototype number five comes along, and you recall I'm going to run this on 3S. Well, these 3S packs are just a little bit thicker, and in a way, I'm glad I used the paper mache on this because I had to cut away all the foam to make a channel for the battery. And you see, I left myself plenty of room. With the battery here, it balances like these guys did originally. But I'm thinking I'm gonna have to move that battery up quite a bit. So in a way, the paper mache was a blessing. It serves as a cover for that. Okay, so this, I have two charged batteries. I'm gonna take it out and see what happens it may just be a total dog you know we'll, we'll see but at least you know I, I can pop this motor out and make a mount and glue this little motor in and maybe this motor has the torque remember now when i ran this with the butt dragon motor it was probably the same kv this this is 3300 but Outrunners, just because of the lever arm from the center of the shaft to the magnets, have a bit more torque than inrunners. That's just their nature. So maybe this will spin the prop and get the butt out of the water if this doesn't. So we will see. Now let's talk about the covering. I covered this guy in silk span like I did uh, actually prototypes two, three, and four were covered in silk span. And silk span works real nice. It sands out nice. You can get a good finish. And you can see here as I folded it over, it gets some folds in it, but that's not a big deal. You just sand those out. Take a little bit of your water-based sanding sealer. Here, look, right here. So I sand it up on the bow. Take a little bit of your water-based sanding sealer. Smooth it on there. And when it dries, sand again, and pretty soon all those little things become invisible. I've Because this has some weird curves, I had to splice in pieces. And yeah, you can see where I spliced one in there, but with a little bit of work and sanding, it'll go away. The question boils down to, 
This is a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, race around the pond boat. Do you want to spend a lot of time making it real purdy? Or is <laughs> purdy enough good enough? I mean, how many of you get, get the Auric Enterprises joke? I'm willing to bet half of you don't don't get Auric Enterprises. We'll, we'll, we'll see in the comment section. Anyway, so I just thought I'd update you where I am and what I'm doing. This little guy is going to get the... Uh, whatever motor seems to work best, I'll put in here. And if I have to uh, make a bubble for the motor <coughs> or for the battery, I can do that. So uh, I'm not going to paint this until I know because that way I can cut out and uh, splice in if necessary. So uh, there you go, boys and girls. I'm uh, putting things together to go to the pond tomorrow. Uh, I hope to have some video. Until then, jet out.